everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. I am working on some amazing slow cooker meals. Let's go see what I bought this week. At the time of recording, we're in the middle of Thanksgiving break. Allison is watching TV. I did all my grocery shopping. It's Friday at the time of recording this. I hope all of you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, my plan was to record a lot of the stuff that I made, but ADHD brain, I totally forgot. But we definitely had enough leftovers to last us. Like I didn't have to cook for about three days. I'm experimenting with some slow cooker meals. So I went to Aldi to pick up some things that I don't typically buy. Things like pork chops and a pork tenderloin. But I'm developing some new recipes and it's going to come out in a video hopefully soon. So my main store this weekend was Aldi. So let's go ahead and see what I bought. I definitely stocked up on a bunch of stuff at Aldi today. They did have some markdown on meat which is good because I wanted to buy it anyway so let's just start over here all of the discounted meat that I bought I found a one pound container of ground turkey that was half off there the other discounted meat was boneless skinless chicken thighs they were also half off so it's about like a dollar fifty per pound which is not bad um, I also needed these which were not on sale these are thin sliced pork chops this is for a slow cooker recipe. And then I've got a pork loin back here that's also going in a slow cooker recipe. That's going in a video coming up in a couple of weeks. And then back here, we've got two dozen eggs for a few things. Some fresh produce. I've got some mushrooms for a recipe and some bananas just to snack on. Some strawberries for Allison. And then some zucchini that's going in, I think it's a side dish for a dinner. And over here, we've got two packages of these snack selects. So there's the sharp white cheddar, then there's chocolate chunks, dried cranberries, and graham cracker bites. And back here, three boxes of the protein bars. These are the peanut, dark chocolate, and almond. Then two boxes of these yogurt tubes. Both of them have the blueberry and the strawberry in them. And a salad kit, just got an everything Caesar salad kit. Back here, some spinach, which is going in like some egg bites that I'm making. Then a bag of sharp cheddar shredded cheese for a couple of things. And I got a bunch of canned goods, let's see. I got two cans of pumpkin back here. Then a can of cream of mushroom soup to go with a dinner. Got two cans of diced tomatoes here, and two cans of kidney beans, and two cans of black beans. Those are just to stock up the pantry because I used up everything. And then a can of evaporated milk that's going in a dinner. And two uh, things of crescent rolls. I wanted biscuits, but they were all out of them, so I got those instead and a three pound bag of white rice. We were running low on that. A package of Italian dressing mix going in a dinner and a container of Greek yogurt just for snacks. And I got two jars of the regular spaghetti sauce and one jar of Alfredo. Those are also just going in the pantry because I used up all of them. Then a huge box of elbow macaroni to stock up the pantry, a ham and cheese Lunchables for Allison. And then lastly, we have some frozen items. Got a bag of tater tots for a dinner and some Texas toast back here. And then lastly, we have three bags of green beans and three bags of broccoli. My total this weekend was $100 and one cent. I thought that was pretty amazing how that total worked out. Okay, so let's just get into the meal plan. First off, I am experimenting with a four ingredient tater tot casserole. I will have the recipes for this later, but right now I'm kind of working on it to see how it goes. What I will link below is my master post of all of my meals that have five ingredients or less. I've got quite a few on there, so go check that out. And again, I've got some slow cooker meals coming. So first off is some ranch pork chops. Now I think I made these for a freezer meal video a few weeks ago. 
but I wanted to do it again. I'm also making a like creamy tomato basil chicken. That's gonna be, oh my gosh, amazing. I'm gonna serve that over some spaghetti and probably like some frozen broccoli too. Then a honey balsamic pork tenderloin. That's gonna be all in the slow cooker. And then I know I'm gonna have probably some rice and then those crescent rolls and probably some uh, frozen green beans. Lastly, for breakfast, I'm gonna make some kind of baked oatmeal, most likely my banana bread baked oatmeal. And then I'm also making some like egg cups. I'm gonna use the spinach and I'm gonna use some mushrooms in there too. I am very thankful for my slow cooker this week because I'm going to be doing a lot of volunteering at school. So I won't be home to prepare these dinners. So all I have to do is put this stuff in the slow cooker and then we'll come home and most of the hard work will already be done. And that's what I love about slow cookers is that even though I like to use it a lot in summertime to keep the house cool, I love using it in the winter because I can get a nice hearty hot meal on these cold evenings. But that's all I have for you today. Leave me a comment and tell me what do you like to use your slow cooker for? What are some of your favorite meals? As always, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later.